had 13 fantastic years at, at Manchester City and then part of the City Football Group. It was a, a brilliant organisation to work with, with brilliant people. Um, but for the next step in my career, I wanted to go in and try and prove myself as a sporting director. I felt I had a great learning at City, but now it was my turn to go in and put that into, into fruition somewhere else. I was looking for the right opportunity. Um, and when I got approached by Standard Liège, I thought that this is fantastic. It's it's too big a club and too big an opportunity for me to turn down. So hence I'm here today. I'm not in a position where we should be. 14th out of 18 in this league is not good enough. Um, and the, the challenge to make it right was, was what attracted me to, to leave City Football Group. I think the money is one thing, but when I joined City at the beginning, um, the club was not at the top of the league. We had a lot of building to do. And the money can get you so far, but it's all about the people and the structure and the processes that you put in place. Money can't always buy those. So the fact that we don't have as much money as, as Manchester City is not a problem. It's a challenge, and it's a challenge that I'm looking forward to try and, try and fix it. I want success, and success for me is getting Standard Liège back to the level that it should be in Belgian football and bringing the European Knights back to this football club. We talk about 1982 and how well the, the team d did back then, what, 30, maybe 40, 40 years ago. Um, we want to bring those types of nights back here. For me, it's really important to have a relationship with the coach. We've got to see things the same way, but we want to play ex exciting, attacking football. Nothing more than the fans here expect. They want to see energy, they want to see work rate, and they want to see quality. I think you see that in the top teams around the world, um, and that's the type of football that we want to bring here. Keep providing the noise and support that you've provided in the last two home games and, and the away game at Genk. Uh, I managed to watch the first two on TV and to be here on Sunday w was amazing. Um, and the stadium wasn't full. I actually met some of the supporters um, on Saturday and, and I just encouraged them to continue the support. Hopefully they'll continue to get behind the team. But they are so, so important to this football club. Players come here from opposition teams and they're scared of the supporters. We talk about the 12th man. They are so, so important, and we are working so hard to give them everything that they expect on a weekend. We will look to strengthen the, the team when we find the players in the right positions and we can do the deals that are best for this football club. We have to, we have to bring in the right people because culture and leadership is really important, but also they have to have the quality. And when that player is available and we, and we feel the deal is right, then we'll bring them in. Before I accepted the job, I asked the question to 777 on what the budget was. I looked at that in comparison to other teams in the league and I feel that the budget that they provide us with is competitive and one that, that we can make a good, a good go of. Um, there are some actions where we have to get some players out before we bring the quality in um, and we're working just, just to manage that. But the budget is healthy and one that I think we can do well with. But it's got to be the right player and it's not just about their ability on the pitch like you say it's about leadership it's how they fit into to Ronnie's way of playing into how he wants the dynamic at the training ground i think so many times in football we judge a player by what he does on the pitch but we need to judge him by his character and what he does off the pitch as well it is a process it's not going to happen overnight we're working really hard to make as many changes as we can in this transfer window but it it probably will take two or three transfer windows to get the club exactly where we want it to be. This is not about moving players between the group clubs. I am here for Standard Liège. I'm concerned that Standard Liège gets back to where it, where it should be. So if a player is pr proposed from Genoa or Vasco da Gama, if they're good enough and they improve us, then we'll take them in. If they're not, then we don't have to take them and I won't be taking them. We have to improve dramatically on last year. Improvement can take a long time. But with the coach that we have, with the commitment of the players, with the structures we're trying to put in place, hopefully that improvement happens quicker than, than we would have thought. Um, we want to be up challenging. Whether that happens this year, it's challenging for Europe. Whether that happens this year or it takes us a couple of years, that is our goal. Like I said, R Ronnie has won the league in three countries so far. He wants to win it in a fourth. And I want to be part of that.